a space shuttle flying to its death. So alaikum and welcome, today we're teaching you how to visualize, that's right. If you don't know how to visualize, or you're one of those weirdos who don't even have sounds in your heads when you think, then this is the book for you. That's right, the visual dictionary. Now, people are like, what the hell is he talking about? No thoughts in his head. Did you know that there's actually some people in the world who don't actually have thoughts, like acoustic sounds in their head when they think? And for those of you who's like, wait, people have acoustic sounds in their heads when they think? Yeah, that that's a thing. So... This is the visual dictionary. It's divided into a whole bunch of categorizations. There is space, planet Earth, atmosphere and oceans, prehistoric life, plants, animals, although there's another book just dedicated to animals. But anyway, human body, ancient civilization, countries, the world, article, uh, uh, article, uh, architecture, technology, and fact file. This is the back. So if you guys want to have a look. Fun fact, this is what a skull looks like when it explodes. Anyway, let's get looking into the booking. Now this episode, just so you know, is sponsored by Sarah Gonzalez. Because, uh, yeah, uh, look at the comments on the other one. Anyway, so it's got nice illustrations of a frog leaping into its death. Um, some animals leaping to their deaths. <laughs> A space shuttle flying to its death. Everything's going to its death, right? Anyway, so then you have space, a breakdown on what each is what. Uh, another breakdown and another breakdown until you start break dancing like some weirdo. Anyway, so then it gives you a nice collection of uh, fun divisions. So you're subdividing your divisions. Divisional and Manisula. And now what really gets me is when they give diagrams like this, right? And they give like what's inside the core of Mercury and stuff. And I'm like, I'm sorry, but we don't even know what's inside the core of Iron Earth. Like, yeah, there, there's ways of telling, but I mean, these are a close estimate. I wish they would put like a little thing in there being all like, bruvs, this is an estimate we don't really know. We haven't been there. We haven't drilled through the core of our own planet. So who knows, right? Now, I'm not saying they're wrong. I'm just saying until we go there, yeah, everything's a best guess. Anyway, so moving on, we have Venus, the hot planet. It's where all the ladies come from. That's why it's so bloody hot. Then we have Earth, then we have Mars, that's why it's so cold and barren, because that's where all the men come from. Jupiter, the big ass planet. Saturn, also known as, as Saturn. And Uranus, <laughs> Uranus. Anyway, Neptune. Oh, fun fact with Uranus, right? They actually didn't know that we didn't know about Uranus, and then some fun guy used mathematics and figured out where Uranus was. So in about I think 90 minutes or nine hours, something with a nine in it, uh, they actually found U Uranus. And then it turns out some other guy previously had discovered it, and he named it Uranus, which is where we get the name. And since they all follow the uh, the pattern of names, except from Earth. Earth should be called Gaia in that case, you know, because other than that, like all of these follow Roman god names. But anyway, Pluto, which is no longer a planet, it's been annexed. They were like, bruvs, you're annexed that. We don't want your bruvs. This is a nice kind of cross section of all the planets. Uh, this is asteroids. I'm going to have to speed up because, uh, you know, I'm kind of, I don't want this video to be 20 pages long. 20 pages, 20, 20 minutes long. Uh, so you've got mute moons, uh, Deimos and Phobos, which actually are the names of children of Mars, which is the uh, god of war uh, in Romans. Uh, in Greek, it's basically the god of war is Ares. Uh, how do I know that? Because I wrote a whole bunch of books about mythology. You may have heard of it. It's called Arthera and the Tyrant of Terror. Or the tournament, or anyway, I'm stuck going to blab on. So I'm giving you guys a brief run through of all the pages. <laughs> 60 something pages. Got a lot of, uh, I'm skipping quite a few actually. 
and then it's got uh, astronomy. Wow, space is getting a lot. Now I got this because I figured one day I'll have kids and uh, you know, it'll be cool for them. Then it's got, what, planet Earth? I think we're in the new section. Planet Earth, I like these. You know, it's like, doo -doo, planet Earth. Anyway, submarine and stuff. Anyway, so then you got planet Earth. I know, our own special planet is getting the, the shaft when I'm going through this because I'm just skipping a lot of pages. Anyway. Hawaii. Anyway. <laughs> Pompeii. Did you know that Pompeii actually was filled with prostitutes? Yeah, it was a sex city. Uh, they had a lot of sex slaves there. And uh, it's kind of one of the things that are glossed over when they... Uh, when they talk about Pompeii, they're like, yeah, it was this thriving city. It's like, no, it's full of prostitutes. <laughs> Fun fact about the past, a lot of people don't know. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm blabbing on. So, let's uh, get a quick move on. I want you guys to kind of have the fullular experience, the seasons. Now, for those of you who don't know, seasons are these things that come four times a year. They smack you with change just when you got used to it. Now, a lot of people are like, yo, bro, what are you talking about? Everyone knows about seasons. Well, actually, I've got family in Africa, and they got two seasons. You got hot and hotter. That's it. It's like dumb and dumber, but not as good, you know? Anyway, this is Jurassic. Look at this dinosaur being bit on the ear, you know, seduction. He's all like... Hey lady, I want to bite you on the ear. Okay, it's not that, he's trying to eat him. He wants to devour the MF, MF whole. They're, none of these have feathers except from the Dinophysis? I don't know. Anyway, so. Uh, kind of gives a nice breakdown of the Dinosaurs. The tree types. I think we've actually entered a new section, haven't we? Yeah, back here. You can see plants. I love it. You can see all the flowering plants. All the lizards, different types of pollinate. The plant section got shorter. That's like really short. Quick. Anyways, animals. Get to a wolf on top of its kill. Be like, bro, look at this. I killed it by myself. And the other ones in the background all like, bro, what are you talking about, mate? We were here helping. And these two just kind of getting ready to make love. I don't know. Fun fact. <laughs> hammerhead sharks, uh, whenever they find a, uh, a, what's it called? A corpse of a whale, which tends to float in the water due to gases, which is why whales explode whenever you find the corpses on a beach. Anyway, so when hammerhead sharks find these corpses of whales, what they tend to do is they actually go into a feeding frenzy, and then, as you naturally do once you go into a feeding frenzy, they also go into an orgiastic frenzy and have lots of sex. So it is believed although it might have changed by now, but it is believed that hammerhead sharks actually reproduce primarily waiting for, like, uh, baby, uh, sorry, no, uh, for whales to actually die so they can have babies, which is kind of weird if you think about it, because <laughs> can you imagine the guy's, like, horny, and he's like, man, haven't banged in years. It's like, wait, Phil, wait, Phil. we got to make sure... A whale dies, naturally. Like, we can't kill him. We have to wait for it naturally to die. He's like, but i got blue balls, mate. And he's like, gotta wait. We reached the sharks. There you go, shark-tastic. Did you also know, fun fact about sharks, I'm teaching guys way too much about animals, but fun fact about sharks is, uh, like, they're actually not that dangerous. Like, I wouldn't recommend to go swimming with sharks. Obviously, consult your doctor before doing dangerous activities. But sharks are not that dangerous, to be honest. You're, you're more likely to be killed by lightning than you are, like, 2,000 times more likely to be killed by lightning than you are to be killed by a shark. A lot of times, shark attacks come because they want to kind of figure out what uh, what we are. So sharks kind of uh, figure out by putting things in their mouth, just like toddlers. Kind of cute, really, if you think about it. You know, toddlers want to put things in their mouth. Sharks want to put things in their mouth. So the next time the shark gives you a good nip, 
you know, just pat it on the head, say, there, there, aren't you a cutie? And then scream because blood is gushing out your wound and you're like, ah, I don't want to live. Anywho, ancient culture, China, that's right. This is the Xinjiang Hu era of China. Do I actually know that? I'm just making stuff up, to be honest. Anyway, Egypt. What really pisses me off with Egypt is a lot of it's wrong. But anyway, people are like, yo, bro, what are you talking about? It's heresy. Um, there are things in Egypt, let's just say, that uh, people don't want you to know about. Right? And there's... Um, like, for example, I'll let you guys know on a secret. The inner blocks of uh, the Great Pyramids are made of thousand ton blocks. But the outer blocks are made of hundred ton blocks. And the outermost blocks, so this is countries, actually made of like ten ton blocks. And then the blocks seem to get lighter and lighter as they go out. Now, multi ton blocks, like a four ton block. You know, I'd be like, ah, oh, compared to a thousand tons, it's nothing. But honestly, right, a, a four-ton block is, a, of stone is a pain in the ass for humans to move in the current era, right? Um, so, saying that in the ancient past, people were moving around a thousand-ton blocks like it was nothing, um, and then saying, oh, yeah, they didn't have technology at all. But, you know, a tree, if you get a bunch of trees, roll them out, and then put a thousand-ton block on top of it, it would crush the trees, to be honest with you. Um, so, realistically, is what the hell is this? It looks like someone made a building and then left it in the sun and it melted. <laughs> Have you seen this? What the hell? Anyway, so... Um, Great Pyramids. That's what we're talking about, bruvs. Anyway, so yeah, there's also, apparently there's an extra chamber right above like the, uh, the Great Gallery. Uh, so, how do I know about this? Because I used to be a thief and I broke into... No, I'm just joking. I'm a bit chubsy-wubsy. I'm too big for that. Anyway, so these are boats. I don't know if you're allowed to say chubsy-wubsy. I don't know if you're allowed to say anything nowadays. If you say hello, it's like, cancelled. It's like, I'm just trying to say hello. <laughs> anyway. So, I hope I'm keeping you guys entertained while I flip through a book. Um, I guess we're almost at the end. Oh, wow. The human ear. And then we have fact files. <laughs> you know, if the, if the fact file was written by a guy called Peter, it'd suddenly become Peter file. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm making inappropriate jokes about a child's book. <laughs> okay, so... I don't know, yeah, this is just... Robot missions, hot damn. Uh, although, when they go to Mars, there are weird cleaning events, and there's actually been a photograph of what looks to be someone cleaning the actual Mars rover. But anyway, <laughs> that's my reviewing of the Visual Dictionary. Got to give it a slap to no tell it who's boss. You know, clearly, my dog is the boss. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> anyway, so that's my reviewing of that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you liked all the crazy, stupid, fun facts that I threw at you, like shark orgies. And uh, I'm going to give this ring of one and a half thumbs up. Okay, I'll give it two thumbs up. Anyway, so that's my review. And if you guys want this, then um, good luck, because I don't think they sell anymore. But I might put a link down below. And this episode is sponsored by Thera and the Tournament of Horrors. No, the... Kingdom of Torment, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe and remember something. Remember your Nana. Have a good day. Bye!